and welcome everyone here on Twitch and everybody on YouTube later on for some Mage Seeker Thresh. So right, we're going to continue uh, trying out all these new Mage Seeker cards, how they just updated um, all the Mage Seeker cards with this new patch. So we got, you know, the Mage Seeker Persuader, which used to be a six drop. Now it's a two drop, so completely different card. Uh, we get to create some Detains with Mage Seeker Investigator. And, of course, Mage Seeker Insider. If you play your six uh, mana plus cost spell, it's then a four mana, six, five. So we're going to try this package, of course, with Lux again, but this time with Thresh. So, you know, last time, you know, yesterday we played it with Lux and Heimerdinger, and it was pretty good. It was a pretty good deck. But we're going to go with Thresh here and go for a little bit more more creatures. You know, we got like the Fleet Feather Tracker, Bright Steel Protector. You know, we're um, going to be going with more creatures. We got, because for a couple of reasons. One, we get Vanguard Sergeant that can create a four Demacia, so a six mana spell. And then also playing more creatures, we get back to back. Give our two allies plus three plus three. That's a that's a very good six mana spell. Um, Thresh is a you know a good challenger. Uh, it's a good champion. It's a good challenger. It can uh, if it levels up, we can attack, bring Lux into play, and Lux is a good a good uh, champion to bring into play attacking because Lux starts uh, by having a barrier in play, or it starts by having a barrier, um, and then also. Uh, the other things that Shadow Isles gives us is Rekindler to be able to bring back Thresh and Lux. You know, basically bringing back Lux is, is awesome with Rekindler. And then, of course, Vengeance, a, a good um, expensive spell to play, uh, a good removal spell. So that's our Mage Seeker Thresh deck. So we're going to go play this over in Ranked. We're going to try to rank back up. We we had some fun playing some Poros. Uh, you know, it, did, it predictably didn't quite go very well but we we had a lot of very close games and our our poro deck was close but you know as far as how good all the decks are in at masters rank wasn't quite there so now let's go rank back up with some mage secret thresh All right, we'll get rid of Vengeance. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of Inciter for now also. We'll keep Protector and Thresh. Cool. I really want my opponent to play a one drop. Really want them to play a one drop. Yay. Because this is just the the dream start of turn two, Bright Steel Protector. Get to eat that up. You're covered. Okay. We still we got two for one. You know, basically their their two one died, and then they used single combat as like a one for one to kill the protector. New recruit reporting in. Their guilt is evident. I of course want to play the the protector on my turn. Give the tracker barrier again. My shield is yours. Okay. Um We'll just attack here. We don't really need to trade Persuader for the Scythria. We don't need to make that trade. I'm I'm ready. So 
So we've gotten to a point in the game where if this if this resolves, so they have three cards in hand in a Scythria. We have a couple of three twos and five cards in hand. So definitely like where we're at. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Um Let's play this. So, I like pumping up this Mage Seeker Persuader to turn into a 4 3. Sure. They're already going to kill a 3 2 anyway. Like how this this, this deck's Whoa. working for us so far. I fight for the fallen. Yeah, like usually Radiant Guardian, that's like a you know really devastating creature. Usually it'd be like, oh man, that Radiant Guardian's awesome. But we do have vengeance to kill it. And sure, our Thresh died. We got more, and we have Rekindler. Raise the banner, lift our spirit. Um, how do we want to do this? Do I just want to vengeance that. Banish the unworthy. Met with Steve. These are just trade, right? We'll just trade these. So going for that block there gave, gave them the opportunity if this last card was a barrier to try to barrier their creature and then really get uh, a great vengeance. We burn, then kindle anew. Three damage. <laughs> and after wizard, as you can see, I I got the Flavor and spice. the uh. The whatever to change the, the my key for my emotes. The prefix for the emotes. Sweet. Yeah, or emote handle. All right, well, that, that game our deck looked very impressive. It did help that my opponent just had, like, a bunch of purifies and stuff like that. And we curved out very well. Having the double Bright Steel Protector and everything like that, too. Maybe I'll just send this back. Hmm. I don't really like this hand. I'm just gonna pass, bank the mana, see if we draw, darn we didn't. Say, see if we drew um, Remembrance that we could play right away. Remembrance would help out 
quite a bit. I will learn from you. Oh, I should I should probably play the Mage Seeker Insider. It's a yeah. I should just play the Insider. Uh, it does die to grasp the Undying. Vengeance for that thing. Oh, I'm sorry, Rex. So I'm probably just not going to be able to play around Deny, am I? So think about these expensive spells, they do get denied very easily. We are having the party at Todd's house right now. That's what the stream is. This is how parties happen these days. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving the house, yeah. Just loving it. Going to the light. This is this is kind of miserable. I know. Thumbnails are up. Awesome. All right, let me get that. I'm gonna finish uploading the YouTube video. Oh, um, I don't know what to do. All right. Uh, for Jinx, so J. 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 There it is. Control the mage to control their magic. All right, thumbnail. We each died, then found home. <laughs>
Okay, so where are we at? Ten mana. Opponent played this very well. Like they played that like earlier on in the game and everything with like the passing. I play stuff, then they play the karma and pat. Like they played this very well. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. The Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. But obviously this is over. They got to draw five cards of karma. Like if karma didn't generate five cards, three, four, five, they would only have you know they would only have five to my seven, but. They cannot hide. I trust my instincts. Karma did generate five cards. History will judge you. Magic has no place here. The dark beckons. I will keep us safe. So by passing, not only do we make them waste all their mana, but then they have the 10 cards in hand. They don't get to actually do anything with those. Try this attack. I 
I kind of have a plan here. It can be easily disrupted. I kind of have a plan. I still have six mana. My easily to disrupt plan revolves around using Detain to give me a new rekindler back. To give me a new Lux back. And then play six mana spell. Have luck to me. If Lux give me something that to kill this. Um, this two two. Like I said, it's a very easy to disrupt plan, but it's just kind of what I got. I don't think detaining their Shadow Assassin would do me any good. And there's a better chance that that worked than detaining Shadow Assassin. Yes! That's what I need to hit. Place reeks of foul magic. Rude. Oh, yeah, I got to change. Yeah, that's that's true. Got to. QQ bot's gonna have to change those now. Um, like are they just like are they just waiting for ruination? Like what are they? Like they have a million cards over there. Like what's going on? <laughs> Is it a good bot? No, I mean, yeah, QQ's in the channel, but you, you know, QQ may be AFK. Courage, soldier. Right now.
Oh, yeah, this isn't going to work because there's the second ruination. Oh. The second ruination got me. Ah, uh, just wasted that detain. Thank you, Q. My cause is righteous. Ah, uh, the second ruination. Because I was going to have a Thrash, and Thrash was going to be able to attack and put into play Lux. And it was all going to work out just fine. Magic must be stopped. Before it breaks. Bring that hive. Thank you, Boo. pretty cool how you could just have like infinite basically you can just have infinite detains that is pretty cool stay safe my lady mages are everywhere oh uh don't you worry about me a beacon in battle yeah we got a puff cap Never back down from what you believe. And they're back up to 16. Discipline and steel. Darn, didn't get the lifelink one. Basically, I didn't I didn't play the four Demacia because of Ruination.
So I just get to gain millions of life. Just back to 20. Oh wait, I'm dead, aren't I? Forgot to get all these they get these extra one ones. No. It's an unfortunate way for this to end. Well we really fought hard after thinking that I was gonna be losing for a really long time. I mean I guess I guess I shouldn't have, you know, I was playing around, obviously I was playing around Ruination, but maybe I should have just gone for it with that for Demacia. Um, you know, they would have been able to definitely kill the 2-1, but who knows. Maybe we could have got there. Yeah, that was surprisingly close given the start. No, I agree. That was one that I thought we were out of, that we were definitely out of for a very long time. All right, new hands. This could be an okay uh, purify matchup. I'm These vengeances just are are very expensive. You know, like they are very expensive. We do need to play a six mana cost spell for all this stuff. I wonder if we should have like two vengeances and one ruination, like especially with like these Demacia decks around. I wonder if we should just have a ruination. I should have just blocked. This, this thing isn't getting any better. For me with this tracker. Should have just saved the life. We can't... Okay, never mind. Maybe it is getting better. I wish we could purify Zed or Lucian for those quick attacks, but we can't. Well, I'm quite glad I didn't block now. This did get a lot better. How about that? Soldiers, to me. No. Magic has no place here. Yeah, Challenger is awesome. Yeah, the taunt ability, yeah, it's it's awesome. It's very powerful. It's not super easy to play all the time though. It's but it's a good one. Um so I could Play Vengeance or play Thrash. I'll just play Thrash. So I can so I can purify and basically get rid of the pump that these things have. It's like all three of these green have plus one plus one, so I can turn them into two twos or a three three at instant speed with that purify. For the glory of Demacia. Looks like I'm gonna have to do that. Hmm. All right, we'll just let those trade. It's fine. And then... I'll just kill that. And that jump block. So I want... I need six units to die to flip Thresh. So that's four units that just died. Two of theirs, two of mine. Let the light guide you.
I need two more to die for Thrash. So we're going to have Vengeance. Basically, I'm, I'm really worried about dying this turn. They're going to get a random elite in hand from this. I, I want it to be an expensive elite. You know, I have I have two blockers. <clears throat> they got more than two attackers. I have this slow removal spell now. So if they, they do play another unit, I get I have this removal spell. If they have two units, I'm I may be dead. Or if they have something like a repose, like if they have a pump spell, I'm probably dead. I mean, I'm definitely dead if they have a if they have like a plus three pump spell. If we untap, I like our chances. If we can just untap, I think we were probably going to win. I mean, if they have if they have a plus three pump spell, I'm dead. It's just that's just how it is. Yay! No pump spell. So that's the sixth creature dying. Thresh transforms. So now Thresh is a four four, not a three three. So Thresh does not die here, which is important. Oh, that was the elite they got? That was not a very good elite. Rally! No! Oh, we did not get to untap. Man, we were about to have such an awesome turn. Never back down from what you believe. Ouch. Because our Thresh was going to attack and put in a second Lux, and then afterwards, then I was going to be able to cast Vengeance and have Lux create two. If we had the two Luxes, we would have created two of those things. And we were about to have an awesome turn. Two final sparks. Break their spirit and their sword. Can't hide from me. You got to capitalize the H. You always have to capitalize the next. Uh, after the prefix, you always have to capitalize. I see you. you have no alibi. Ouch.
Hmm. Magic has no place here. <laughs> nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. We're out some detains. Contain the arcane. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. Control the mage to control their magic. I try making it the hardest one for them to remove. This the six five seems like it would be the hardest one for them to remove. All right, so they forward Demacia. I'm just going to forward Demacia back. Stand strong. <laughs> for Demacia. No. For Demacia. No. For Demacia. All right. Two more. Yeah, everything was plus three, plus three. So Garen Fiora with Freljord Splash. So we're going to get rid of these and look for the exact same cards. So we need to play a six plus cost spell to turn on basically everything in our hands. Or to make them a lot better cards. <laughs> For all the Demacia. Feed Demacia. No one goes hungry. Their guilt is evident. 
<laughs> yeah, the, the Frozen Challenger deck, yeah, that is is going to be a, an annoying one to play against. But um, only if you're trying to play a lot of units. Like, I think it's going to be it's good in creature matchups, but against spell-heavy decks, it can it can struggle. So then you have like a bunch of frostbite cards that don't really matter. Discipline and steel. My plan was to play the bright steel protector and be able to attack for three, but let's just. Play the sergeant so we can get a four Demacia in hand. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Uh, I I'm not sure your question, A word. I don't. I'm not sure what your what your question means. Soldier, me. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, else pursued. I think their hand was, uh, how do you say it? Uh, perfect. Yes, perfect. Yeah. The best one drop into the best two drop into the best three drop into another one drop and rally. Yeah, that is just what we call the perfect four turns. I'm using a Blue Yeti Pro mic. Yeah, Callista hasn't. It's Callista's better, but still, still struggling a little bit with Callista. And now they have this ice fail archer for this too. They got it all. My shield is yours. Yeah, that's. It's gonna be an lethal attack. I can't stop it. All they have to do is just attack. I guess now I can make it nine damage. Soldier to me. Um. Yeah, they mess this up. If they would have just just put the pump on one of these other things, it's gonna put me down to one. I mean, it it almost certainly doesn't matter because I'm going to die. They have all this stuff and I'm at one, but they had lethal. Looks like they just realized that.
Or are you complicit? My shield is yours! Contain the arcane! I see a dark down. Gnawing away Get out of my mind, monster! One goes hungry. <sighs> Again, if if one of those, like, no, nah, even if they were, we had a ruination, we would have had a chance. But I wonder if one of those vengeances should be a ruination. But no one that really saved us. They just had a perfect hand. Their first four turns were absolutely perfect. And mine, I mulliganed three cards into the exact same three cards, so my hand was not. Perfect. That's how that goes. Yeah, but I definitely like Callista more as like the 4-3 now than what she was before. And now they're gonna have war chefs. I've got your back. Still pretty good. We haven't had turn three remembrance ever in these games. It's really the card that we want on turn three. Nothing to worry about. We haven't had that ever. Discipline and steal. I will keep us safe. Debating between Thresh and back to back. I think it's back to back. Makes these Mage Seeker Inciters a lot better. It was playable. It's very meme-y. But it was it was playable. Our, we had a lot of close games. One game, one of those six losses I should have won. It, it was just my fault that we lost. I messed up a couple of times. But we besides that, we had a lot of other close games, so it wasn't it wasn't unplayable. Control the mage to control their magic. Safeguard our citizens. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. You're welcome.
Oh, Tiana, the 7 7 rally creature with Callista. That is, that does sound pretty sweet there, Elvis. That does sound really sweet. Honor guide me. No sympathy for sorcery. Will not prevail. I'll take the trades across the board. back here oh I said her name she I shouldn't have said her name she started to sit up she was just sprawled out like crazy they got their little beds there you know there's puppy over here and Harvey over gosh over here yeah there we go Harvey puppy I need to get a, um, if anybody's thinking of like a, a present, <clears throat> maybe, maybe I do like a donation goal or something. I need to get a, another camera so I can set up like a, a camera with like a tripod or something. So it's just on, on these beds here for the dogs. So we can have dog cam, puppy cam. All right. We got nine mana. Let's see. Well, we got eleven mana, actually. Stand back. I'll contain the threat. Who's the threat here? No. All right, I got I got real greedy with that. That poor Demacia. I got real greedy with that. Sweet. I'll take that though. Them playing theirs on defense. That's good. Hold back the darkness. Yeah, I got, I got way too greedy there. I was I was ahead. I, I did not need to do that for Demacia thing. I didn't think they'd have removal. They did. That was quite unnecessary. Hey, Toasted, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. Hope, hope you're doing good today. Finish this out. Got to focus from here. Made that pretty bad mistake with the with the Lux in play, but we still have a whole bunch of stuff. Whew, 
yeah, this is kind of stressful, I suppose. Yeah, just the one health. That's all we got. Contain the arcane. <laughs> Discipline and steel. Savior world, we speak with blades. If this last card's another unit, I'm dead. Okay, good, it's not. Stand strong. Let them eat so go. We will not hesitate. Shine with me. Demacia from magic. Demacia doesn't need saving. Stand in your out for injustice. All right, so that's two creatures dying for me. This thing turns down to just four mana. Transform Lux. I don't know what that last card they have is. They're not playing it at all. Nothing stands in our way. Do your worst. Awesome. Bonus surrendered. We had plenty of life to spare. One entire life, that is. And new reward. Capsule. Nah, all the all the commons are extra copies. But we've got a rare. That's a good rare too. Fading memories. I'll take that. I'm probably going to play some Fading Memories. I like this Mage, Se Mage Seeker Thresh deck. I feel like with my losses too, I could have maybe... At least one of them, we just... opponent had a perfect hand, but the other one, I could have maybe done something better. Um... Definitely get rid of the Vengeance. Do I want to keep Thresh? I'll just replace it. Come on, 
Come on, play a one drop. Play a good one drop. Not like hapless aristocrat, but a good one drop. What's that noise? Darn, I just played hapless aristocrat. I must get out of here. I wonder if this is like the Iceborne Legacy Spiderling deck. I could see that. Got your back. My steel is yours. I think it's still worth it to kill the hapless aristocrat and you know just get the other half of the spiderling when it's when it's free. There's nothing to fear. That was a great card. Let them just flip a lease. You guys have to do this right now because otherwise they could just say no blocks. You know, ideally they would block with the skitter first, but they just say no blocks and I don't get to cast that. Alright, so we cast a six mana spell. So now all of our mage seekers are tur turned on if we ever draw those. I'll take that trade. But I really do want to draw uh, something to play. Oh, never mind. We, we have the... Never mind. The tracker's still alive. Okay. That's good. So we're going to be glimpsed beyonding the tracker. Come on. Removal spell. No, not that. Want them to play like a, a vile feast that we'd be able to respond to. So yeah, Iceborne Legacy. So now all of their spiderlings everywhere are now three threes. Yeah, buffs any new spiderling summoned. Yeah, we so yeah we played this deck yesterday with Callista. Uh, we played this version yesterday. We went eight and two in Masters yesterday with um, with the deck that my opponent's playing. Uh, except for we had we had we had two Callista in our deck, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. I assume you have to have two allies for this to work. contain the threat who's the threat here magic stops with me pushing my limits we got some big creatures
This is risky. <laughs> Isn't that Puffcat emote awesome? Cool, that resolved. So now we're going to be able to play this Remembrance. We'll trigger Lux. We really want to hit Radiant Guardian. Yeah, we got the new emote. Puff caps. Got a new emote today. Sweet, Radiant Guardian. So basically, I have to be worried about Atrocity killing me. That's the thing I really have to be worried about. So this puts me back to 20. Obviously, I could, you know, use Vengeance or Barrier and protect some of those things. But honestly, having the having the Lux die is actually just good for my Rekindlers and everything. They've played two Iceborne Legacies. So all their Spiderlings are 5-5s five now. We each died and then found hope. <laughs> yeah. Yep, now at least deck summon five fives. So do I show off okay. The question was do I show off and play another rekindler and get a third Lux? But then if they have ruination, they just randomly have a ruination in their deck, they could just really punish me for doing that. Or not. But if I don't, we don't get to show off by playing having three Lux in play. Yeah, Iceborne Legacy is you give um, any card and every single other card with, with the same name that you control plus, plus two, plus two. So you put it on Spiderling, and so all of your Spiderlings get plus two, plus two. And so they played two of them and gave their Spiderlings plus four, plus four. Ooh, the opponent's going to try to puff cap.
puff caps. That's an egg. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to love the new emote. <laughs> You've no idea. We choose the bite. All right, we want to hit the five four challenger creature. Five four challenger. Yeah. Swift wing lancer. <laughs> Squish goes the spider. Squish goes the spider. Magic has no place here. Now we got four mana six fives. Three mana three three that creates a detain. It's like the worst elite. No sympathy for sorcery. Oh, uh, we haven't played it yet, Pandas. Um, you can see in the top left-hand corner, we're, we're going to be playing the Katarina Burn up next after this. Um, we're going to be playing 10 matches with this deck and then 10 matches with Katarina Burn. So we ha haven't played it yet. Yeah, I think this deck's probably good enough to craft three Thresh for it. I think Thresh is a, a really good, solid champion anyway. I think that you'll be happy with Thresh. Um, you know, we had the uh, Thresh... Plus, Honor guide me. Steal over um, you have to get me out of here. the other day we played Thresh plus uh, Karma, Thresh Karma Control, and that deck was awesome. <clears throat> I think I only played two Threshes in that deck, but still, I think Thresh is a really good champion, and I think it's a, a not not bad to not bad card to craft. Puff caps. Yeah, it'll actually be kind of my first time playing a Katarina deck. Actually, with the Katarina burn. The Katarina burn wine mi mixer. Um. Tough call whether we go Thresh or Remembrance with Remembrance leveling up Lux. But if we play the Thresh now, a bunch of stuff's probably about to die. So a bunch of stuff dying is good for good for Thresh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking that, yeah, Katarina, Katarina is kind of hard to use optimally, I agree. Um, but yeah, she's like one of the last champions that I got, uh, I finished getting cards for, or like I, I finished getting, so this is going to be my first Katarina deck put putting together. Hey, WQ, going good? So close. We got five things die. So close. I know what lurks in the shadows. Pages. 
fuck yeah. That's rude. Killed my Thresh. I liked that Thresh. Thanks, WQ. Yeah, this deck. Yeah, this deck's feeling pretty good. <clears throat> All this mage seeker stuff. Do your work. Of course, I have a lot more <clears throat> cards in hand. I just want to try to stay, stay. Um, just want to stay alive, so you know I'm gonna be blocking with Lux and everything like that. What they discard? Oh, they discarded a Mushroom Cloud, and they still have two others. <clears throat> a beacon through the dark. So we should have this just fine. This place reeks of foul Gives us ten, <clears throat> 10 attack. First one's free. Why do I think they were at 10? Oh, they were at 10, but then the, the that final parting card put them down. Oh, well, I'll just, just cast this. I could have just gone straight to attacks. I didn't have to play this. I was thinking, like, all right, well, this is 10, and then if they play a creature, then I have to tain. But, of course, then they played a thing that's a whole bunch of creatures. Five and two. Victory. You got three locks, maybe you can try this. I pull the strings. Nice, yeah, I recommend it. It's a good one. You know, if you especially if you want to use Lux, it's something a little different that's not just you know, playing it with like Heimerdinger or Karma. Parent Lux somewhere else. Parent Lux with Thresh. Um. 
I like passing there and having them waste all that mana. Go ahead. If they attack out, they can have Callista flip, but I'll have Thresh flip. And then I get to attack with Thresh first, bring in Lux, play Remembrance. Because Callista will be a 6 5. Now you've gone on upset it. I prefer mid-range decks myself. My true beauty is the nature skin. Get a lead. So I was planning on playing the one mana remembrance and the mage seeker persuader. I don't really mind playing that Redeemer and drawing a card. I should probably just play this for one mana. Magic. It's possible I shouldn't even be playing the Persuader and just save the two mana. This will work out okay though, they don't get to Challenger and kill my 4-3. You know, they can just attack with all these things. Thank you. 
That is just the perfect card to purify. This, the box, is kind of a perfect card against their deck also, how they go wide. Vengeance is perfect at killing the next one. The can't atrocity right now. Atrocity costs six mana. Basically, things worked out pretty perfect there. Do your worst. <laughs> pretty perfect. And we're six and two. In your opinion, is Thru Lux plus Thresh or Lux plus Karma? I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, you know, very close. I'm not sure how... You know, it's, it's kind of dependent on these Mage Seekers. If you know, I'm not sure how good the Mage Seekers are with Karma. Uh, maybe they're very good. Maybe they're not. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Um, that's kind of... Something to consider. I so I'm not sure. There, WQ. So I'm just going to be going for the turn 3 Remembrance to turn on the Inciter. You're welcome. Because, yeah, like, these, these new Mage Seeker cards definitely change... Definitely change things. I know it's not good to do this pre-combat. It's possible they just pass, though. Okay, good. This kind of the maybe the smart play would have been just to pass. Can waste that mana. Magic has no place here. Look out for Reavers. Fight the signal fire. Yeah, five mana. Not going to be a good turn for us. Basically, this Bright Seal Protector costs zero mana if I want to play it this turn. Meh. Our strength is yours. Yours. 
All right, I'll, I'll play it for zero mana right now. It's not bad. Avalanche is good. I didn't really think about Avalanche. That's good. Gonna try to kill Braum. Looks like no Elixir of Iron. They went with the cry crying face. Yeah. So, so yeah, the the overlay doesn't have the card cards updated. That's that's probably pretty jarring with these Mage Seeker cards because they're so different than what they used to be. Pine Peas, six month streak. Thank you, Pine Peas. Bring in the puff cap hype. Time sure does fly, doesn't it? Thank you so much for keeping that, that sub going. I appreciate it. Place reeks of foul magic. Rude. Hold on. Yeah. Put an end to magic. <laughs> we need a foil, gold, golden foil puff cap emote. We've cast three mana of spells right now with Lux. I can play Detain and flip Lux. All right, so we're going to detain. So we're going to have the Swiftwing Lancer detain the Investigator. So that whenever the Lancer dies here, then we get the Investigator back, which then gives us another detain. So basically, we're spending five mana to get a free investigator in play and not, you know, use no cards. So, yeah. We're basically spending five mana for a 3 3 without the use of a card. But also, it counts as spell mana for flipping Lux and everything like that. Are 
That was real getting rid of my Lux. So this Vanguard looked out only cost one mana, but I guess the bad part about playing it is maybe I shouldn't have because now I have 11 mana, so I can't go Lux plus a six mana spell. I can have Lux plus a five mana spell, like a, a Detain. Let's just go Thresh, and then we can have either the five or six mana spell. It's a very large jewel protector. I guess just a hearth guard and an omen hawk. <clears throat> Gave something else plus three plus three. We're definitely doing good on, on cards, like we're gonna win a late game. It's just can they're very large creatures because of hearth guard. <clears throat> Can they're very large creatures win this? These walls investigating. Stay. Stay safe, my lady. Mages are everywhere. I probably should have. Uh, don't you worry about me. Should have done that the other way around. Hey Josh, welcome back. It's going pretty good. This Mage Seeker Thresh deck that we're playing has been really sweet. Um, long games and everything, but uh, yeah, this has been a pretty sweet deck. So yeah, everything's going good. I'm actually kind of not feeling the best though. I don't know what it is. I kind of feel like I'm like getting like a cold or something. I hope it's not the the thing we're all worried about right now. I don't I would be surprised if it is, but um Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of feeling worse and worse as like this last like half hour has gone on. So I, I may just end the stream early tonight after the Katarina burn, like maybe play like one more, I don't know. 
yeah for the most part i've been staying inside i i actually didn't today <laughs> today i went i went out and got lunch with my dad boo i'm supposed to trigger my lux so i went out and got lunch today and everything and now i kind of yeah i don't think it's yeah so i don't know i kind of feel like hot you know like my face is kind of ting is pretty tingly and i i feel like really hot yeah forehead's very warm yeah i don't i don't think i have that i think it's more of just like a, a like a you know like a cold or something like that or just just something yeah i just need to get some fluids and rest kind of thing that you know like a 12 hour bug That's what I feel like. These are dangerous lands. Um. So I have the two detains. Detain's not as safe as Vengeance, but we have two of them. If I just play Vengeance and they counter Vengeance, that's rough. Yeah, don't overthink it too much, I know. Doesn't really change exactly how I feel, though. Yeah, it could be some mild food poisoning. That could be it. The chips at the place were really stale. I don't know. Something else wasn't wasn't quite right. This is my choice. Trust my instincts. No, no. Ah, uh, I ran out of time. I just couldn't couldn't figure out exactly what I wanted to do here, and then I just ran out of time. Yeah, way to make fun of me, opponent. Thank you. Going to the light. That was we were just you know talking and everything, and the yeah the. I definitely feel like I threw those last few turns away. The mild food poisoning makes a lot of sense. Because I didn't really, I didn't like go into public. All I did was drive and, and then just meet my dad and we just ate like in the car, like he picked up the food. So like, I, I didn't like even go into public. Um... Yeah, the Mage Seekers are pretty good. They've updated basically every single Mage Seeker, and they're pretty good. Yeah, I got a new patch deck here. Hey, now, Denti. Focusing on like the computer screen and everything with 
uh, feeling like just warm temperature and just like the focusing on the computer screen is getting difficult. Maybe I just take like a maybe after this deck. Uh, I don't know what ice. I don't know what ice saver is. Um, maybe after this deck, maybe I just take like a two-hour break, and then come back and then stream again in like two hours. Maybe I do that. Just kind of split it up. Go just to kind of rest for a little bit, shut my eyes and everything like that. Get some water. It's a program to regulate the brightness of the PC. I don't think I use that. The brightness isn't on too much. Like I, I've I've dimmed the screens pretty much because I. Watch and learn. That's something that used to bother me before I got my glasses when I wore contacts all the time. Isn't the best of plans. Oh, now I have a vengeance just to kill that. My plan was basically to to do this with back to back. Now I just have vengeance. They could just kill the Draven. I don't think that went how I wanted it to go. Got axes, need victims. No, I'm pretty sure that did not go how I wanted it to go. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. You should try blinking sometime. All right, so we finished six and four. Should have just made some blocks earlier. Could have played that one a lot better too. All right, those last two games, could have definitely played them a lot better. Um. All right, so there's our Mage Seeker Thresh deck. This deck felt pretty sweet. Yeah, so we were 6-2 and two there before I played the last two games very poorly. Um, playing turn 3 Remembrance was definitely, like, the, the best-case scenario because then, you know, turned the the Inciters and Investigators and Persuaders and turned all that stuff on. But... Um, yeah, I liked how the deck played. I think like the vengeances were just are just really expensive. 
That's seven mana. I could see this deck playing one Judgment. I could see it playing like two Vengeance and a Judgment, honestly. Judgment could probably get some people. Because basically, I was thinking that, like, you know, maybe like a Ruination instead of a Vengeance. Maybe even a Harrowing, heck. Judgment could get some people, though. I think I would do that. I think I'd play one Judgment. <clears throat> Helps out against, you know, it's not as good against the people with Deny. But it helps out against the aggro decks that, that aren't really playing Deny, like your Elise decks, um, your Spider decks and stuff like that. You can just get this Judgment in there. I think that's probably an upgrade. Yeah, that's probably an upgrade. All right, well, anyway, so there's there's Mage Seeker Thresh. All right, anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and let me know what you think of the deck. Please leave that comment down below. Those likes and comments really do help the channel, um, so I'd appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching some Mage Seeker Thresh, and I'll see you for the next video.